that's going in my basket. You can't argue that there's nothing better than the smell of freshly baked bread. Trust me, I know. The same thing can be said about Mizuno irons. You can't beat the smell of a freshly baked set of Mizuno irons. You can't. Mm. All the way. Nah, this is, this is silly. It's gotta go though. See that? I did that on my own. Oh baby. The Mizuno Pro 221 iron. Oh. This iron right here, the older versions, the newer versions, they're all a huge highlight for me on this channel. I always get excited to see the replacement of this iron because deep down I know Mizuno have got this in the bag. Pun intended. In my head, I'd already scripted out that this was going to be a great iron and luckily it's not algae ridden pond water. It is the same great iron that we expect from this company. But not everything this year is as it seems. If you're a huge Mizuno fan, you'll know exactly what's happened just by that text there. Because for the first time in three decades, the Mizuno sun and moon have aligned to give us a global release eclipse. What that means is in a pro shop in Japan, you will see this iron, the Mizuno Pro 221. And guess what iron you'll see in a pro shop in the US? The Mizuno Pro 221. Guess what iron you'll see in a pro shop in Australia? The Mizuno Pro 221. Guess what iron you'll see in a UK pro shop? You get it? Okay. For the last 30 years, the label Mizuno Pro was only available domestically in Japan. Anywhere else, we had a shortened version of MP, standing for Mizuno Pro. Hopefully, moving forward, that means whatever gets baked in Hiroshima, Japan, we can also have as well. If you look very closely around this iron, you may notice little subtle differences. Mizuno is saying this year to align with a better player, it's got a shorter, more compact head size, which when you think about it, with all the stuff packed inside this iron, that is mightily impressive. If there's one little niggle that I had with the MP20, and I mean I'm really clutching at straws here, it was probably the shorter irons weren't compact enough. And you'd be pleased to know with the 221s, Mizuno really were heavily focused on that aspect. As it's really early days, I only have the 7 iron here, but we'll be getting the full shit. Shit? <clears throat> we'll be getting the full set shortly to go out on the golf course and play a few holes with because that is really where they excel. If you want to see that, and also if you want to help this video, just comment course 221, that would be very nice. Thank you. And we've got thicker muscle this year behind the hitting area, so that's really going to provide a vibration dampener for better sound and feel. Also adding to the softer feel, like its reintroduction with the MP20, the copper underlay is back in there. Somehow. Well, we're going to have to stop, stop it there a sec, because otherwise this video is going to be longer than the Lord of the Rings Return of the King Extended Edition. Very long. We can all agree that there's a lot of marketing bullshit out there. I can tell you, hashtag nothing feels like a Mizuno isn't one of them. And last but definitely not least, and I think this is where they've nailed it on the head, it's a combination of mirror, very fancy and shiny, but the problem is that's gonna kill thousands of ants, which is exactly why we've got this anti-glare finish on the face, so you, you're still gonna have your eyesight. It's great. So this is the seven iron sitting at a very traditional 37 degrees. We've got the Project X LS shaft, 6.0, 120 grams, feels beautiful. And one of my favorite grips, the Z grip, or the Z grip, just to annoy the US out there. Hit, stiff, smirk, repeat. Hit, stiff, smirk, repeat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. oh. That was calm. 
karma. That was karma. No. No. You can really tell that it's soft out the hosel. Da, I did hit record. No! Da, what an ending! Why would you do that? Why? I feel like I need to change the subject before we look at the numbers. Oh yeah, as this is a better player's iron, MP, Mizuno Pro, we've got the shot shaping challenge coming up straight after this. You don't want to miss it because I've already done it. Right, for the most part, those were unbelievable. This is, guys, no messing around, an unbelievable golf club. But what did we expect? Again, are you going to see a huge performance difference between the MP20 and this? The answer is probably going to be no. But if you're looking for huge performance gains, you're probably looking at the wrong golf club, if I'm being completely honest. You know I'm really enjoying a golf club when we see numbers like this. Everyone just expects that I bash me, bash me balls. Oh, is it own time? Everyone just expects that I just like bashing it everywhere. <laughs> That's not any better. Um, yes, I do. But when I play golf, I like to have a bit of finesse. I don't look like I don't look very finessey, do I? But I do like a bit of finesse, and this is finesse right here. Um, carry on average 170 total 174 total spin 6586 so again we're going to be looking up towards the 7000s it's just spot on with numbers side spin for days if you don't want spin this is not your club if you want distance this is not your club everybody else line up you know the sad part is about this the real sad part is the predecessor of this iron was straight in my bag and I saw it being built in Japan. Obviously, due to the current climate, that is not possible. So when I had a bit of a realisation, I was like, ouch, you know. But I've seen how these things are made and as I say in every Mizuno iron video, hats off, really hats off. Right, high draw to start us off. Oh yes. <gasps> well, we'll just, just stop it there. That's a shot ship challenge complete. All right, low draw. I mean, these are gonna be hard with the water, but if we get the shape right, I don't really mind. Flipping heck, we're on. <laughs> High fade now. This is where it gets tough for Odell. Really trying for me, aren't you? Look at that, the same trajectory as the high draw. Can we do the same matching one as the uh, low draw? Coming from the other side. That was just a pull, I think. Ah. You what? Wow, that was trash. <laughs> 